Hi, my name is Alex from Brushquirk Painting. Uh, I posted up some photos on Facebook and Twitter of a Gorax that I did for the Winter Circle project a little while ago, and there was quite a lot of interest in how I did the spit and drool effects on him, uh, so I thought I'd put together a tutorial just showing it from start to finish. It's fairly simple, uh, and doesn't take too much time really, so I figured I'd do a quick one. So if we start with the materials list and go from there. Okay, so the tools and materials we're going to use for this tutorial are pretty simple, really. You should have a few of them lying around anyway, I'm sure. So the first thing we need is a good sharp hobby knife, as well as two pairs of pliers or snips. We want one for plastic handles, so we don't end up burning ourselves here. We'll also need, of course, a heat source. I'm going to be using a tea light candle, but anything that burns a clean, continuous flame is suitable for this, really. What we're also going to need is some clear acrylic or clear polystyrene rod, the kind from Games Workshop flying bases or just any acry acrylic sort of sticks is fine for this. I got mine off of Amazon for pennies really. We're also going to need some Vallejo water effects. This stuff is brilliant, it's a gel medium and it holds its shape fairly well when it dries, uh, which is pretty much what we want when we're doing globules of gross stuff. The next thing we'll need is some Uhu or Yuhu all-purpose adhesive. This stuff is absolutely abysmal for gluing stuff, if you've ever tried, but it is brilliant for what we're going to use it for, really stringy, gross drool. Uh, it's great for blood as well, which I might show in a video down the line. We want to make sure that we get the solvent version of this, as the non-solvent does not work, it just sort of goes claggy and gross. I know from experience, and I would not recommend it. The last two things we're going to need there's some toothpicks for applying our, our gross gels and glues, and a finished model, um, which you need to apply it to. I'd recommend, if it's your first sort of shot doing this, to practice on something that maybe isn't your best. Just as when we start using uh, the Yoohoo particularly, uh, there's no real going back from there. Okay. So the first step we need to do is make some suitable strands. So what I've got here is our clear acrylic rod, or polystyrene rod, held tightly in a pair of pliers. And on the other hand, I've got a lovely set of snips here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just gently heat the end of this, and you can tell when it starts to melt slightly, it'll warp inwards, start to shrink a little, and also go a little glossier, and obviously will be softer. So we're going to get that heated up gently, and when it starts to go, we'll move it away from the flame, and we're just going to gently, very gently, pull it out, nice and slowly, and that'll give us a lovely thick strand of drool there. As you can see, it curves around from the heat, but that's okay because we'll want some curvy bits anyway. So I'll snip that off, like so, pop it to one side, and I'll show a selection of finished ones at the end here. So I'm just going to pull a few more now, so that we have a few to choose from when we get round to doing, well, when we get round to attaching drool of our choice.
Okay, so I've pulled all that plastic rod out now, and it's given me a decent selection of strands. We've got sort of everything from very thin ones with a big sort of unusable clod on the end. Uh, we've got some that are really nice and curly like this. Some thick, some thin, some are quite short, others are ludicrously long. Uh, but all of these have a purpose, and what I'm going to do is, before the next step, I'm going to go through and handpick a few that I think will be suitable uh, before we start fixing them to the final model. Okay, so now I've chosen a handful of strands that I think I'll be using here, and what I need to do now is sort of choose where I'm going to put them on the mouth, uh, and also then fix them in place. So the first thing to do, I'm just going to go in with a pair of tweezers here, and I'm just going to adjust where we're looking at, and we're going to just gently put them where we think we're going to have them. So, with a little bit of tinkering here, I think this strand is going to come out of there. So, the way I'm going to do this now is using the super glue that we have here. I'm going to just drop some onto the lid of a paint pot here, because I really don't want to get glue everywhere. Because if we end up using too much, we risk sort of getting misting on the model and on the clear plastic, and that's just not good at all. So I'm going to just dip our end in, just gently there, to get the tiniest bit on. And then what we'll do is we'll just get it into the right spot. There's probably going to do it. Are we in? There we are, it's a little low, so I'm just going to pick it up slightly and just wait for it to dry. There we go, you can see it's just affixed to the lip there, in the mouth. So that's our first piece. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the others fixed on now, and you'll see what it looks like when they're all on. Okay, so you can see now I've got all these strands attached. I decided to go with four in the end, and I've moved two of them around slightly, bringing this front one in particular just up in into the sort of inner jaw there, and one long one trailing out the back there. So that's sort of where we've got our, our strands at the end there. And now we're just about ready for the next step, which is the stringy drool inside the mouth. Okay, so this last step is doing the uh, sort of the stringy spit between the upper and lower jaw, and also connecting some of the strands. We only really get one shot at this now, as once you've applied the Uhu glue, it's pretty much impossible to get off without damaging the rest of the model. So, first things first, what we're going to do is just take the lid off of the Uhu, and you can see it's already all stringy and gross there. Just going to whip it to one side, and I'm going to squeeze some out just onto the top of a little upturned plastic shot glass. You can see how horribly stringy this stuff is already. So there we go. Pop the lid back on straight away because this stuff has a habit of drying itself out at an astounding rate when you don't want it to. So we'll pop that down to one side and then what we need to do is basically, if I zoom us in here, uh, to go to town on and around the mouth. Excuse hands. So what I'll do, I'll get a tiny bit of the Uhu on the toothpick here. You can see it's really stringy. I'm going to try and get it off without spider webbing too much there. And we're going to get a hold of our lovely troll here. Once again, excuse hands. And we're going to go and start with the upper jaw, I think, and string some down to the lower. And then back up. There we are, just make sure it sticks. And back 
down there. Can go around the side. Sorry. Just up to there at the back. There we go. Hopefully we can get that strand to stick there. There we are. And pull away sharply when you need to. Sorry for the quality here. It's uh, pretty tricky to do. So I'm going to get a little more glue on the other end of the toothpick because it's already started to dry there. And again, just get that there. And we're going to go from the base of this strand of spit up to the top again. Just touch it against the upper jaw there. And I think back to the tusk. So what we've got ourselves already is something that's looking a lot more grody, gribbly and drooly. So with the rest of the strands I'm going to go now and add a few more stringing between, but that's the basic idea here. You want to avoid doing too much because otherwise it can look quite busy and like I say be particularly careful doing this because it does tend to get everywhere and really stringy and unpleasant and you do only get one shot. So I'll show you again, I'll cut, cut away for a sec and show you it when it's finished. Okay, as you can see, I've gone back and added just a few more strands. So if we turn around to the front, we can see there's a little more there. And again to this side, we've got a few more little strands there. And just a couple of connecty bits under. But the main ones are sort of a few at the front there and at the side of the back. So the next step is going to be to add some little globules on the end, so I'll cut away now and we'll come back when we have the materials for that prepped. So the very last step we have to do is just adding some little globules to the end of some of the spit strands. Now for this we're going to use Vallejo Water Effect. You can see it's a really heavy gel medium in there. It's sort of It really does hold its shape. It's almost like a moisturising cream, something like that, some kind of ointment. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a nice little glob on the end of our cocktail stick like that, that may be a bit too much. Let's go with that. So I've got that in one hand, we're then going to just get a bit of zoom going in on here. And what we're going to do, excuse hands here, we're just going to on the end of the strands, get a nice little glob like so. Now, it's white at the moment, but it does dry perfectly clear with a slight bit of shrinkage, but it will hold its shape almost, almost perfectly. So I'm just going to spin around our good friend here to get access to some of the other strands. These ones are a little tougher to get to. I'm just going to get a touch more of the water effects onto this cocktail stick. And I'm just going to get a good dollop onto the end of there. One more onto there, I think. There we go. I'm just going to blend it in ever so slightly, but not too much, as it will, the, the slight shrinkage that it does have will bring it back down in. So all we've got to do now is really wait for this to dry. We may need to do a second layer, which I'll do off camera if need be, uh, and then I'll just finish off the base rim on the troll and possibly gloss the inside of the mouth as well, and we've got a totally finished model. So there we go. Okay, so I've come back the following day now, and all of our Vallejo water effect has cured nicely and given us some lovely clear globules of spit. As well as this, I did go back and do a little bit of touch up to the troll where I thought it needed it, finished up a few bits that weren't quite done, and had a few more glazes where it was needed. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the model now. If anyone out there decides to give this a go, I'd absolutely love to see what you come up with. Uh, so feel free to post examples to me or leave links below.
just a reminder to everyone out there, if you did like the tutorial and found it useful, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to the channel. We will have more tutorials coming along soon for various things. If there's anything in particular that you'd like to see covered, uh, please leave a comment below or send a message to me. Uh, and I'd appreciate it if you'd check us out on Facebook or Twitter. Links are below in the uh, description. That's all for now, and we'll see you with our next tutorial. Thanks.